Hi everybody. The project is entitled as Employee Management System. It contains of two modules. One is Employee Management and another is Loan Management. The project is made using Spring Web MVC. So the very first window which appears on the screen as the part of my project is the login system which I've made using the inbuilt feature of Spring known as Spring Security. So I'm going to log in in with my credentials and the page you get landed on is my dashboard. So clearly there are two modules. One is managing employee and another is managing loans. So the front end of the project is made using basic HTML, CSS, Bootstrap, JavaScript and some features are included of jQuery as well. The back end has Spring support and uh, Java Spring Web MVC uh, support made using both model views and controllers. The database which I have used is Oracle 11G which is my which is at my local server. So I'm just going to add an employee. Here you can see a very basic form. The form has four categories. Number one is the personal details. Then we have temporary address, permanent address and a section for adding family members as well. So let us start with creating an employee. So I'm going to name as Swan Sharma age as let us say 18. Uh, a mail ID proof Aadhaar as uh, mm, let us say 989898 a demo Aadhaar number it is also um, categorized as verified so I have taken front end and back end both verifications so if I uh, write a, uh, an identity proof which is of less than nine characters it's going to give me an error that the identity proof needs to be uh, greater than nine characters a sample mobile number and email as one at the rate gmail.com so if i hit submit button it will tell me that these are the required fields temporary address permanent address and we have to agree to terms and conditions as well before hitting submit on adding employee button so i'm just going to fill in a sample address and permanent address same as temporary address. I'm going to be adding a family member. <coughs> and we'll be agreeing on terms and conditions and then hitting submit. So it'll tell me that employee has been saved successfully and the control gets back to my um, uh, dashboard. So let us search the employee we just edited. For searching the employee, we have two conditions. So the first set of condition is searching it with employee plus identity. The second uh, set of searching an employee is name plus email ID. So I'm going to enter the details and hit on submit button. So the page we the land on right now has all the details of the employee we just filled with temporary address, permanent address and family members. I'm going to go back at the, at the home page and try updating it. So for updating the same, I'm going to search an employee that which which employee needs updation. And let us say, for example, if I fill a gibberish value, which my database does not contain, it will tell me that employee does not exist. 
so i am going to fill in the right credentials and an update employee form uh, comes with uh, some of the fields as editable and some as non editable fields so the so the fields i have made non editable are ages and identity proof so i'm going to change the name from swan to let us say shawn and hit on submit button message appears with the id of the employee which i have just tried to update i'm going to search again with my updated um credentials it does not matter in which case i write the details it's it's uh, it, it's going to fetch it otherwise I'm going to hit submit and the details come up so this was adding searching updating and delete employee so delete employee is same i'm going to search the employee let us say uh, going to search it again hit on submit it will show me a landing page as well with two buttons delete or cancel for the time being i'm going to cancel the operation and get back to my dashboard coming to loans we have two option applying for loan and getting the loan details so let us apply for loan so here you can see for these three operations that is updation deletion and applying loan i have used the same search employee page which acts as uh, which which is basically my search employee controller so every time i'm fetching i'm doing a particular action this action will be categorized as in my uri and then uh, subsequently the page uh, for updating deleting or managing or for applying loan appears so i'm going to apply for the loan uh, for the employee we have just entered so let us say that the monthly income is 50000 and the total monthly expense comes out to be 25000 i'm going to ask for a loan amount of 2 lakhs on rate of interest 12% for 2 years with monthly repayment frequency now you can see these three fields which are non editable at current point of time the debt to burden ratio maximum eligible loan amount and max eligible emi gets calculated automatically for checking my eligibility i can see that i am not eligible for loan right now because the reason states that dbr should be less than or equal to 40% so debt to burden ratio is a standard um standard lending term which tells us the ratio of my monthly expense to uh, my monthly income i am going to reduce my monthly expense to let us say 19000 and dbr comes out to be 38% performing the check again it is say approved now i can submit the button loan has been approved we have come back again to dashboard so let us check the loan details again so i'm going to fill in the same credentials and now you can see a page appears as shawn's loan details so this table here the every row in this table will categorize as one loan which has been approved for shawn so for example if this particular employee has five loans against his name all five details will be shown here with the loan id loan amount rate of interest tenure repayment frequency and emi amount this person is eligible for i'm going to click on the loan id it will take me to loan details page having four tabs salary details profile eligibility loan details and repayment schedule salary detail have basic monthly income and total monthly expense which i have filled during applying the loan profile eligibility was three calculated fields loan details has loan amount emi roi tenure and repayment frequency now repayment schedule is um, repayment schedule gets generated for this loan and it has 20 
So repayment schedule gets generated for this loan having 24 entries. 24 entries are here because the tenure which I filled during applying loan was 2 years. So here you can see in pagination I have all the details of um, what will be the beginning amount, EMI, interest in rupees that I will be paying, principal which I will be paying and the ending amount. At the end of 24th month, uh, my loan will get paid 100% having ending amount as 0 rupees. So this was a small project which I made using Springweb MBC as my backend having features as spring security, transaction management, um, uh, ORM on Hibernate which, uh, which let me communicate to my Oracle DB and front end as of basic HTML CSS. Um, thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you guys like it.